Hey everyone! Do you guys remember these? Before the age of digital photography, all um, images were developed on negatives. So we are left with attics and basements all over the world littered with these little uh, photo slides. So I have a box full of these and they're not even um, good photography. These are like just an amateur photographer who enjoyed nature and taking photos of their garden at just about every angle. <laughs> so I have a bunch of these and I've been trying to find a way to use them up. So I've come up with a few ideas and I want to share them with you. So there are some of these that are plastic. They're a little bit more modern than the cardboard ones and they have the little slot on the side and the negative comes out. So they are shaped in squares and other ones are rectangle. So I've got another one here and this one is also plastic and the negative slides out. And then there's the cardboard ones that are just two pieces of cardboard glued together with the negative stuck inside. So I was thinking that these would make really cute embellishments on journal pages. Um, I have some images here and I have the plastic rectangular one where I could slide the image inside. So I'm trying to decide which what I'm going to use. You could use magazine images, book page images, anything that you want. Um, this would look cute. And then I also have this lovely lady. She's an original uh, image from a Harper's Bazaar. So that would look cute as well. I think I'm going to go with her. Now this is really flimsy paper. It's over a hundred years old. So I'm going to back this with just a piece of cardstock first. I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm just going to glue a bigger portion of the image than what I need so that I can then cut it down to the size I need. And I'm going to use the negative as the uh, size that I need, only she's going to go portrait direction instead of landscape. And then I'm going to see if she fits nicely in there. So the back here just opens on the one side and then I'm going to slide the image in. The next one I'd like to do is this little square slide frame and I'm going to put a pressed little rose in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use transparency plastic and I'm going to cut two pieces of this so that I can sandwich my little rose in between the two uh, pieces of plastic. And I've got the uh, negative from this one so I'm going to base the size of my transparency on this little negative. So I'm just going to use this double-sided tape and put a tiny bit of it in the center here just to uh, hold my flower down. And 
And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit on the corners of this empty one. And then I've got Fabri-Tac handy here, so I'm just going to glue it shut because this one here tends to open quite a bit when you uh, take the negatives out. And then for the cardboard one, I'm going to cut out the negative that's stuck inside and I'm going to use it as a window to frame these two fine young gentlemen here. The photo is going to get glued on the back, so I'm just going to trace it the size of the slide uh, once I position the photo where I want it. So that's how easy it is to make these. Now to use them in your journal, you could do whatever you like with them. Um, I would probably use them on the edge of a page, like a tab, like this. And that way when you close your book, it's hanging out of the edge like that. You could also embellish your covers with these if you have blank books. This one here has these two little holes that you could punch with a um, small punch and then put a couple of brads. As for the negatives, these could be used also. Some of them, if you have some that have really nice pictures, you could highlight them by putting them on a blank background and you would see the image better. This looks like a peony plant. You could also have them hanging out of the edge like tabs as well. Or you could do some layered embellishments. Um, I've got a little Polaroid shot here. <laughs> this is Michael and this is his uh, first Polaroid selfie. Uh, you could use these as layers on photos as well. So you could have them like this, maybe one at the top, one at the bottom, or like this. And then you could have a um, piece of paper that has the date or a little sentiment or a note on there. So just some ideas for you for these uh, photo slides. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm not sure when I'll have another of these uh, junk drawer DIY videos, but as soon as I do have something new to share, I'll, uh, I'll be back. Thank you. Bye.